All right, when we last left off, we were just about to go to the fire cave in uh, the underworld. I believe I just saved here after I healed, though. So uh, here's everybody's current stats. Look at that monstrous 615 health. I may be trapped in France and watching VODs, but I miss my frogs, Shay E. All right, let's try to get out of here with an alpha. Uh, let's see if we can do it. And see if we can go to the underworld real quick. Uh, easy. Dr. Andy's nuts. True. Ah! <laughs> Holy shit, did you see how fast that fucking wet Nasaur was moving? That guy was moving. I can't remember if these guys are vulnerable to freeze or not. I kind of forgot. They uh, are. Okay, cool. Sh movement trill. We do tank glitch. Uh, we did tank glitch when we got to three, but I might I might mess around with it later. All right, I had to walk all the way back through this area. Now watch this shit. All right, I'm a professional speedrunner here. All right. I'm a, I'm a pro speedrunner. We got speedrun strats, all right? <laughs> a, little, a few too many objects here for me to be doing that. Uh-oh, I'm gonna get back attacked. Okay, you got stuck. Uh, rip bozo! I don't think I get past this guy. Uh, maybe. Let's see. Oh, I'm getting fucking... <laughs> don't you have teleport beta? No, the point isn't to succeed, Semi. The point is just to use it to move fast. <laughs> this guy has a power shield. That's right. I remember. He has a physical shield, so we're not gonna... Make that mistake, we just get him out of here. Do I have the uh the shield breaker thing? I don't think I do. Bum. Hi Delta, thank you for the nine months. Seven months? No, it's nine months. That thing's eyes, yeah, I like how they have the lazy eye. Snowgrave. Two betas should kill here. Yo, Sylvie with the gift sub to Boost Train! Seven months. Also high. Boost Train! Yo, any trainers? Any any gamers want to uh, generously donate their life savings to me? Right now? Did you get the 1 in 128 item from this enemy? Not from that enemy, no. I wasn't doing any more of the, uh... I just wanted to do, uh, just the one. Alright, we make it there. We make it there. We make it there. Watch this. Ah, oh, okay. I didn't account for the tree, you know. See? We made it there. No problem. We're definitely not gonna get... <laughs> All right, we're here. All right, what are the fire enemies looking like? You encounter major, I'm sorry, major psychic psycho and psychic psycho. Okay, so this is the major and this is the regular one. All right, good to know. You know, we haven't tried out Morbin Omega yet. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Just this once, we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see what it does. This should be fun. We'll just defend with everybody else. It's Morbin time. Yeah, that's uh, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was worth the nearly a hundred fucking PP it uh, it, it 
cause the cast, but you know. Ooh, speed capsule, yo. Hey, Jeff! Guess what? I'm morbid over all those guys, true. Oh, that's a back attack. I didn't even notice it in the lava. Soul-consuming flame? Wait, he has the boss music! Say it with me, chat. What? How? What's over to the right here? Okay, this just looks like it takes us over to the other side of where I just entered there. What is this battle background? Wait, that's kind of dope actually. Very cool. Yeah, I watched a video on the way the backgrounds work, Kidders. It's super interesting. The fact that they like, ooh, Cherub's Band, that sounds good. The fact that they got this all working on the SNES is honestly incredible. I mean, it doesn't really excuse the fact that this game apparently, apparently this game costed $90 when it came out. All right, we can give the uh, the pixie bracelet to somebody else who needs it. Let's see here. What do you have? You have the diamond band, you have platinum, and you have your stuff. So we'll we'll send it down the conga line, and then we need to uh, throw away Jeff's current band since he has a full inventory. And then we gotta just send. Diamond Band over to him. It's the conga line of inventory management, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, what's up, Ice? This game was 90 bucks because it came with a huge box and the strategy guide. Ah, I wasn't alive when this game came out, so I wouldn't know that. But yeah, that's fucking ridiculous. $90 in, in the 90s? That's like $150 for a game now, imagine. Hope you're well. Yeah, I am. Thanks, man. Ooh, 76. Any big uh, stat ups? Ooh, by nine. Boost train success, chat. Good work. I'm proud of all of you. Oh, he's dead. Goodbye. You're alive? Wait, seriously? I, I'm surprised at that. Huh. I'm very surprised that wasn't just an instant KO. Right, let's see what's on the left side first. Oh, I, I, I was rewarded! My cure- Going left first rewards me. What is this, a Metroid game? We didn't even get to the drop. <laughs> now nah, what's here? All right, what are we looking like here? Evil element. <laughs> Why does he got the little goatee? Uh, I'd say that almost kind of looks like like a racist political ca cartoon, except this game was made in Japan, so it's really not. <laughs> Ah, seizures. My favorite. 
Jafar, yeah. Sixteen thousand small numbers. I surely this enemy. Yeah, about to say. Oh wow, there's a lot of what the? He just teleported. No, 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 no. That's fucked up. This guy can teleport. <laughs> We get the double damage on the bazooka here, so I don't think I need to star storm. The psychic psycho turned back to normal. What? Oh, you're resist. Okay, it doesn't even matter. Goodbye. He's just, he's just gone. He's dead. No chance. Offense by three, defense by four. Pretty good level up. A big encounter here. You encounter the... Okay, so these guys apparently have magic resist. Or at least freeze resist. So we will just bash them to death. <laughs> Smash! I believe the SNES mini version because it turns on a motion blur thing whenever there's a seizure moment. Hmm. I looked that up to see what it looked like. And to be completely honest with you, I actually think the SNES mini version is more egregious when it comes to the visual thing. Because, like, the blur effect they put on it makes it, like... <laughs> like, it's really aggressive. Uh, the SNES version, um, or th not the S, sorry, the Switch version, uh, was the best from what I saw, but I wanted to play the original. That guy, uh, he just fucking hoiked. He hoiked. Bro, I didn't know RE Logic made this game, dude. Unbelievable. Motherfucker hoiked. In Earthbound. Nice damage, bozo. 17, oh, huge damage. Really putting in that, uh, putting in that Sword of Kings to work. All right, let's see, uh, where are we going here? What's back here? Okay, this looks like a small room, so we're gonna see what's in here first. Okay, this is just an item. Doesn't look like we got any enemies though, so. Oh, there's the boss. Moonbeam gun. That sounds like a weapon for Jeff. Let me just confirm that first before I drop his current weapon. Okay, we're gonna drop his, uh... What does he have equipped? The fucking baddest beam. I guess the baddest beam wasn't so bad after all. Can't throw it away, one of a kind. All right, uh, then we will give it to uh, Pooh who has no inventory issues. Speaking of poo, actually, he needs PP. Use a little bit of his water on him. Yippee! Hey, what's up, Kiwi? Moonbeam gun. Moonbeam. Hundred and eighty-two. It's pretty strong. Speaking of poo, he needs PP. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, Did I miss any like important items or anything? I think there was one path I didn't go down. We can just bash this guy. Putting that sword of kings to work, baby. Hi, Marzi. Pee pee poo poo, I think so. Uh, we can always just go back in.
I think it was one path I didn't go down. Uh, you know, not really feeling it. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, this guy can schmoo out of his mind! <laughs> Bro's fucking wave dashing! <laughs> Alright, what's up? Square up, bud. You finally got here. This is the eighth your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Alright, bitch, square up. Carbon dog! Uh, uh, I'm just gonna put a shield on us. Oh, I don't have fucking shield sigma. Forgot this character doesn't get that. Alright, we'll just fight them. Now, surely you're vulnerable to freeze. I mean, you're made of fire. It just makes sense. Anyway, multi-body... Uh, unfortunately, uh, you look like a very interesting boss. Unfortunately, multi-bottle rocket. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way. No, no, the power shift fuck. It's gonna be a longer animation. I'm not sure if Jeff's gonna be able to get the heals now. Ah, oh, just barely. That's kind of cool. All right. Uh, do we have any like revive items? We can get rid of. Oh, I have a horn of life. I feel like, uh, Pan has like a billion left. Yeah, let's use one of these. <laughs> and then I guess you're weak to PSI now, so we'll just freeze. You have healing Omega? Yeah, but I want to get rid of these revive items that I've been stashing this whole game. You know? Uh, okay, well, we can't do too much to you at the moment, so we'll just, uh, freeze! See what you're vulnerable to. Right, defense 230. Alright, no weaknesses. Ow! Alright, I think I broke the barrier, so... Should just be good to just blow them up. Later, Bozo. Eighty-four thousand. That's, that's a lot. Oh, I queue up by three. Ooh, big. Ah, oh, it's a volcano, of course. Did we get diamondized? I think I'm immune to that. Or at least Nezza's. <laughs> nice melody! <laughs> Dong! <laughs> it's just the one last note. Sans had the feeling that he was being watched by himself as a baby. Sans Sounded Stone recorded the melody of the Fire Spring. Megalovania jump scare. Also, Yo, I'm blue now. Yo, Indy, thank you for the three months. I appreciate it. Six months she left high, she she e high. Yay! Yo, Roberto, thank you for the six months. I appreciate it.
I love the part of eight melodies where it goes Shay high. I do really like the eight melodies theme. Toby! How you doing? Sans? Hmm. I think Sans is the right name for him. Sans. He smiles just from hearing his own name. Do you think he likes his name? It's a new home. Oh my god, you're right. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Try putting that red cap on him. <laughs> it's too big, but it looks good on him. I hope Toby won't be jealous of the baby. Let's celebrate with some Bepis. <laughs> this baby will grow up to be a hard worker just like you. I don't think he needs to be rich or famous, but I want him to be a thoughtful, strong boy. That's odd. The baby bottle that he pointed at seemed to move a little. Hmm. Oh. Uh, no problem here? No, I think there's a- there are many problems here. Sans, you've stood on the eight power spots of the Earth. From these, you created Magicant, the realm of your mind. And is it Magicant or Magicent? I've heard both. We're gonna go with Magicent. In Magicent, there's beauty, kindness, sorrow, and hatred. Of course, there's an evil and violent side of you. The Sea of Eden sits at the center of those feelings. It takes you to the truth about yourself. Ah! Dead space? God, stop! This is the realm of Magicent, which your mind created. Why don't you explore the mind? Take your time, Sans. Ah, well now we're yellow. Yo, what's up, Everdread? Sans! Maybe you don't want to hear this, but you remind me of myself when I was young. I can't do anything more for you. Good luck, Sans. Oh, he's gone. Come on in to Magicent. Oh, it was a small, quiet town, wasn't it? Brother Sands, the Sea of Eden is at the end of Magicent. Other people can't get close to it. It's a strange place. Is there anything I can do for you? What do you want me to do? Oh, sick. We can store shit. Whimper wine. I lived in your house before you were born. Sands used to be small and weak. Oh, Sans, are you tired from traveling on your adventure? Yes. If you wish, you can stay here forever. I'll make some Beppas for you. Flowey? Look at the sun! <laughs> Face the sun and smile. Welcome to the automatic teller machine. Nah, I don't need to do that. Sans, it's your dad. I deposited $22,020 into your bank account. Taking away what you spent, you should now have $270,199 in the bank. Chat, can could you, could you match that? <laughs> can we get my real life bank account to have that much in it? <laughs> Yo, Sylvie, thank you for the 500. I appreciate it. <laughs> Ness could pay my tuition. <laughs> Beep, 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 beep. I'm just a faint memory. You don't usually remember me, but you've heard my song in the back of your mind. I can't believe capitalism still exists even in the mind. 
Hi, this shop specializes in putting in pendants. You'd like to buy some. What do you want to buy? So, the earth pendant, I'm assuming, what does that do? Is it any good? Because I have the pendant that makes me immune to, like, fucking everything right now, so. Big piss. I guess I'll buy one of them. Let's see here. So, compared to my current pendant. Must be equipped on your body, protects you from fire, freeze, and flash. Oh, so it's literally the same as the C pendant. It's the same stats, too. It's slightly less powerful. Okay, but basically I should get two of those and give one to Paula and give one to Jeff, because... Yeah, it makes you me. I can't give one to Pooh. But. Yeah, C pendant's slightly better, but we should get two of these for the other guys. Assuming I don't get a star pendant drop. Oh. <laughs> I'll just get like $20,000 out. I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm in risk of dying anytime soon, so. All right, while we're storing something, uh, we're gonna have a quick ad break here. You're not missing anything, I'm just buying shit. I stuck with that idea. I ensure you to detect DMs if you feel moved. I don't have Discord on my other monitor, sorry about that. Aw, wait, that's adorable! Oh, Sylvie, that's really cute. Thank you. Throw it in art? Yeah. Thank you for making that for me. That's very sweet of you. Alright, you. Someone just rang my doorbell. I don't know who that would be. Uh, yes, I would like to store uh, two earth pendants. My dog is bork, borkin. You go bork, bork. Sans, did you learn how to tell what time I'm indicating? You kicked my butt badly. I won't forget. <laughs> yeah, I did, loser. <gasps> Belch. You destroyed my pride. Arg. I love the footstep sound. Hey, it's Magicent. It's me. I'm you when you were younger. Hey, let's play ball. Do you prefer reading comics or playing games? What? You're busy. Thank you for remembering me. No problem, Snowman Man. No problem here. Please rest. The dream you'll have here is a dream within a dream. Your heart knows things. You... They talk at Kingdom Hearts, nah. I know the name of the girl you used to like. Uh... I open a present, there's a caramel inside. Nice. Why, Sans, let's play. Yeah, long time no see, Sans. Sans! Pokey took my snack! La 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 la, my name's Nico. Let's run and sing and dance. Fresh! Kya kya. Peace, we haven't played together lately. I'd like you to take your time, because this country will disappear when you wake up. Wake up. What? We had fun one snowy day. I melted, but I am still real in your memory. Hey, what's up, Pokey? Chance, you're so lucky. I envy you. <laughs> I have no luck. But Sans, well, okay. Let's be friends forever, all right? Sure. Yeah, that's how that's gonna go. 
This is Buzz Buzz's tombstone. He appeared earlier in the game and gave up the ghost before he achieved his goal. <laughs> they put a fucking gravestone for Buzz Buzz? <laughs> what the? I am your courage. I follow here in Magicent. My name? Let's say Flying Man. Thank you, Flying Man. The Flying Man joins you. Did you want to talk to me? I'm sorry, there's really not much to say. Thank you, Flying Man. Magician's red. Sans, I still feel pain where you wounded me. Didn't you, like, almost kill me? Hush up. The Sea of Eden is filled with ultimate intelligence. You can't go there unless you're truly ready. It's a place where you can touch the truth of the universe. Going there may bring sorrow. Okay, this is not what I was expecting from this game. Oh, Bag of Dragonite. Hey, me. I found my cap that you lost. I'm so stupid. There's lots of junk in my backpack at a time like this. Why don't I get rid of something I don't use? This is not what I was expecting from this game. I'm not gonna lie. What? Eyeballs? Electro swoosh. Oh, I should have given myself the Franklin badge before coming here, huh? <laughs> that might have been useful. Oh, well. Mimics? Literal eyes emoji. The loaded dice. Ah. Carefree bomb. <laughs> Dude, this battle background, holy shit, should I be high while playing this? Is this even the right way? Oh, what was this way? Okay, there's an item I did go the right way. Goddess band. Oh, I have too much shit. Uh, okay, what am I getting rid of? Uh, probably the caramel, honestly, it's not that great. <laughs> Goddess band. Let's see. I feel like I just got a new band. It is stronger than the cherub band. But what does it do? Okay, so it is better. It is literally just a straight upgrade. Okay. I'll hold on to the other one, though, to give it to one of the others. Nice turnaround. Loaded dice. Item management in Magicent is pain. Yeah, sound. It feels like it would be that. Okay, that guy can teleport apparently. Oh, hey, butterfly. That's an actual item. Magic and bat. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, what are we getting rid of? I don't think I need two bags of Dragonite, do I? Sure, we'll get rid of a cup of life noodles. Don't really need that. All right, magic and bat. Better or worse? Better than the ultimate bat. 
All right, we can get rid of a, uh, and get rid of ultimate bat then. Hold on, let me make sure it doesn't have like a low accuracy or something. Okay, doesn't seem like it. Missing no? Ah, Mr. Molecule. It's Morbin time. Sounds like someone experienced a certain bat. Actually, it was very useful because it lets you kill Starman Supers uh, with a back attack when I was grinding for Sword of Kings, which I did do, by the way. It took 257 attempts. I had to do it. Yeah, it's part of the, it's really, it's part of the uh, experience, you know, it's quintessential. His background is oil, true. Yeah, 78, nice. Splitting molecules, yeah. I feel like if I, if I beat this guy up, he's just gonna explode. Big hit. There's a check mark here that's not subscribed. Damn, rough. All right, what's in this one? Magic Tart. Uh, is this just a healing item or what? 20 PP item, sure. Just burn it right now, because I like having space in my inventory. Yeah, yeah, she thank you for the gift sub. I appreciate it. Ooh, wonderful. It's Morbin time. You know, nice badge, Ice. No, no, no check mark. Uh, boom. Carefree bomb. Flying man, no! Well, it's nice knowing flying man. Did you just throw a bomb at me? Bro. That's so sad. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh gosh! <laughs> what is- is it the Kraken? <laughs> ah, you're a normal enemy now, I see! It was a lot easier than it was last time. And he still drops 80,000 experience, holy cow. Hi, Jack. Hope you're doing well, buddy. I'm just moving. Uh, wow, Kraken really is just a, he's been degraded to normal enemy status. There's something over there.
Oh, that's progression. Okay. So there was actually something on the other side I need to go get. Fuck it, sure, swear up. Fire damage doesn't do much to me, so... Oh, yeah. Money, money! Yes. I want to see what's over here, though. It's actually just a dead end. Unbelievable. Excuse me, sir. I really, I, I love it when like a boss in a game just gets relegated to just like generic enemy status. Also get destroyed, kid. Oh, level 80. Oh, we're getting up. All right, what you got for me? I'm the evil part of your brain. You can't beat me because you were the one who forced me into being. Ah, my nightmare. I see. Yeah. Oh, loser. The evil part of his brain is an Oscar? The Oscars are evil, I knew it. Uh-oh. That might hurt. Yeah, that does a little bit of damage. That's just a, just a little bit. Must be vulnerable to something, right? Maybe we can put him to sleep. Nope. Am I gonna die from this? Yep, all right, it's a good thing we just heal immediately. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that right after he uh, put up a power shield. I don't have any way to get rid of shields, do I? Your nightmare can morb. <laughs> that shield will break eventually. There it goes. Oh, and it's back. Your nightmare could morb, that's hilarious. Maybe we could flash it, who knows? Oh, wow. It actually worked. That's crazy. If it's vulnerable to flash, then... Nope. Well, I tried. <laughs> it was worth a shot.
Oh! <laughs> it's not a meow! <laughs> It's just that easy. Alright, apparently he's not immune to instant death. Ah, oh, sorry, I just had to get that out. Sans heard a familiar voice at the center of the Sea of Eden. Gygus' goal is to destroy you. Also, that's improper grammar. It should be Gygus's with an S at the after the apostrophe. Unless Gygus is plural, I don't think there's more than one. Gygus's goal is to destroy you. Listen carefully. Everything in the universe could be destroyed at the hands of Gygus. But he and his followers are also in trouble. The Apple of Enlightenment has foretold that Gygus's attempts will fail. It is because of the existence of a boy named Sans. That's me. Listen. Free your mind and know what you must do. Your destiny has already been decided. You, I, where should we go? You know deep within the reaches of your mind. Saturn. Saturn Valley, yes. Go to the valley where Mr. Saturn lived. You'll get something new there. Soon, Magicent will be no more. We must be quick. Sans really heard his own voice. Go to Saturn Valley. Go to Saturn Valley now. Sans was filled with the power of the giant step. Sans' speed increased. Vitality increased. Guts increased. Luck increased. Speed increased. IQ increased. Filled with the power of Magnet Hill. Vitality increased. Luck increased. Sans was the filled with the power of Rainy Circle. Sans's guts increased. Sans's IQ increased. Filled with the power of Pink Cloud. Speed increased. Guts increased. Power of Lumine Hole. Luck increased. IQ increased. Power of the Fire Spring. Speed increased. Luck increased. Instantly, Sans's mind cleared and he realized that he possessed great power. At that moment, Sans's psychic powers radically expanded. Sans gained 200,000 EXP! Okay! Wow! Sans made all of the hidden powers his own. He absorbed the powers of the land into his heart, and Magicent was no more. Now, you can wake up. Your friends are waiting for you. It is time to get up. Seizure warning, gotcha. Oh, yeah, 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 mm-hmm. Definitely, watch out. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's a little... The soundstone that Sans used is now gone. What happened, Sans? You've been unconscious for a long time. You kept saying something. Saturn Valley? What's waiting for us there? Anyway, we need to teleport. Ah! Alright, let's heal. It's a dawn. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a lot. 570 psychic points. Brother. Minor boost. Okay, uh, 
Uh, let's get the couple of things we wanted out of Escargo Express. <sighs> Inventory management be like. Now he needs more than Omega two times instead of once, for real. Thank you, sir. Ah, finally, inventory space, my beloved. Equipping. Earth Pendant is just an upgrade over that. And then same with... Uh, actually, I want to keep the Rapid's Foot. So we'll just keep that in his inventory, I guess. We'll just... I don't know. Keep this... Uh, I guess the Flame Pendant's kind of useless now, isn't it? We can just get rid of that. Because, like, who needs that when you have the Earth Pendant, which is just better. And then we also have the Cherub Band. We can give that to Pan. And we can do this fucking, uh... Oh, we can do this, uh, we can do this, uh... <laughs> conga line thing again. Alrighty, uh, we seem good to go now. I'm not sure what I left in the in the dungeon, but let's go ahead and save. Oh, Horn of Life. Okay, nothing important. All right, let's do this. That's up, Nico. Yeah, the Mr. Saturn are incredible folk in the Apple Kid. He is a most exceptional young man, very different from other kids. Well, anyway, the prototype phase distorter has been stolen. Someone resembling a pig wearing clothes took Mr. Saturn captive and stole the device. Zoom. Hmm, doesn't work. One thing is missing, but that one material cannot be normally found on the Earth. The material I'm thinking of came from a meteorite that fell when I was much younger. Have you seen a meteorite anywhere recently? With even just a piece of the meteorite, I can synthesize the material Zexanite. I doubt that your mortal enemy, Gygas, will allow you to go to Onet, Onet and get a piece of the meteorite. By now, Onet is in his evil hands. You must go, though, so take every possible precaution. The Mr. Saturns have introduced some of their new developments at their shop. Please check them out before you leave. Phase disorder will soon be completed someday. Ah. Uh... I'm sure I don't need anything at the shop. Oh. Well, damn. Damn, everybody's dead. <laughs> There's not a door there that you can knock on. It appears everybody is dead. This is so sad.
It's up muscle memory. Anime. The ghost of Star. Oh no, not you again. No, 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 no. I've I've dealt with enough of you in my life. I don't want I don't want to even think about you any ever again. Underfell Starman. This background goes hard. Yeah, it kind of does. I'm not going to lie. Oh, Sans, you finally showed up. There are plenty of creepy monsters running around Onet now. The townspeople are barricaded in their homes, afraid to go out. I'm fine, but I'm a bit scared. Everything will be okay if we just sit quietly in the dark. Are you hungry? Do you want to eat some Beppus? Sure. Be more relaxed? Okay. At this point, you guys might just be the strongest force in the world, don't you think? Well, my family's okay, and that's all that matters. Hey, Mom, I'm God now. <laughs> True. Ghost of Starman has a 1 in 128 drop, and I do not care. Evil Eye. Well, time to be liberal with my <laughs> with my PP usage. Let's go. Big hit. Huge. Oh, it can cast Star Storm. That's obnoxious. But unfortunately for you, ratio. <laughs> All right, it's just a it's a high item sell. Oh gosh, that's a lot of guys. But unfortunately for them, it's more been done. We're just gonna go all in on offense. Just all in on offense here, honestly. Except for Pooh, because I don't want to waste his PP. I don't think he needs to, anyway. Various guys are bad. Ooh. Uh, well, I should kill him here with this attack, hopefully. So. Yeah. Alright, so we get HP roll. Nice. Big level up. So, you guys mentioned that if, San that if Ness was level 99, he... He loses out on that buff. Is that because he can't level up to take advantage of the stat increases? Ah, okay. Up. Oh, somehow I got preemptive.
Yeah, I'm quite strong now. Wait, the Halloween hack has a PSI bitch kill? Is that seriously the name of it? <laughs> That's funny. Ah, Toby, 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 Toby. Dude, these battle backgrounds kind of go hard, though, I'm not gonna lie. Every time he uses PSI Morbin, he's just reading the script of Morbius. I can't even see the Mani Mani statue, fuck. Speaking of which, I, I, I like distinctly recall there being a statue in that guy's basement. Is that like optional? Just foreshadowing. Okay, because like I, I feel like I remember going there on like a, a playthrough I did, like the playthrough that didn't go very far, and I remember seeing that. All right, give me the meteorite. There's gonna be a boss here, I'm sure. There's something shiny that you can reach. Do you want to try to get it? Yes. Sans got the meteorite piece. It can't be that easy. Was it really that easy? <laughs> okay, sure. So I'm assuming those enemies just stick around there until the end of the game. <laughs> okay, I'm curious what the what these guys have gotten uh, in the shop. I want to go check this out. Where's the shop again? Is it over here? Yeah, this building. Alright, let's see what we got. But there's nothing new here. Oh, these are new. No, this isn't even new. Wait, what? I thought you had new stuff. I've been scammed. Ah, this is new. Piggy jelly. Is that a two? Dance is over. I was thinking maybe I could go up there, but I guess not. Okay, well, they said they updated their shop wares, but uh, that barely constitutes, considering I have a literal better item on everybody now, but sure. Hmm, if only I had a piece of the meteorite to be able to extract some Zexanite. Hey, dumbass, here you go. 
Ah, uh, yes, this is fantastic. What? Well, I've never actually seen this incredibly rare element before. It is very intriguing. All right, leave everything to us and you get some rest. Sure. I can have Ness can pull items out of his mind. True. Finally, it's complete. The Phase Distorter version 2 is equipped with two new features. First, it can repair your biological function. Second, it can save your progress. Don't be afraid. Get right in. There's just one thing, though. You might not be able to return, so make sure you're optimally outfitted. You ready to go? Yeah! Actually, wait a minute. How many bottle rockets do I have? This should be fine. Oh, I'm here. Yo, it's the dude. Greetings, so you're finally here. Excellent. You are truly excellent. There's only a little time left. I'll give you the last power. I must go now. Pippus became conscious of Starstorm Omega! Yo! Based, 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 based? Oh, it's expensive. But 720, so it's basically just... More than Omega, but cheaper. Kidnapped. I was. Boing. Kidnapped. Bad guy. Bad guy gone. Zoom. Where? To the past. Ding ding. Change check the broken phase discorder. There was a horn of life. No problem here. Uh, I don't know, it seems like... Ah! What? The phase distorter has been completed. We could finish it quickly because of Mr. Saturn's incredible scientific skill. Guys is, Gygus is attacking from our exact location, but he's attacking from many years in the past. What? Wait, how is there three of them? Wait, so there's the first one... There's the one they broke, and then there's this one. This is very hard for me to tell you, but... You must warp to the past and fight, but... We were here, too. In order to defeat Gygus, who is attacking from the past, you must warp to the past. This can be done by way of the Phase Distorter 3. However, the machine cannot warp living things. I mean, life forms. Life is demolished in the process of warping. The only way to accomplish time travel is to transfer your brain program into a robot and send the robot to the past. The transfer means that your spirit will go with the robot while your body is left behind. I cannot promise that your spirit will come back after the battle in the past. Yet, you must understand that you four are the chosen ones. Do you still wish to face Gygus by tra traveling to the past? Yeah, bring it on. Hmm, you accept this while knowing that you may not be able to return to your current form, right? Sure. Yes, I see. You really have set your mind on this. Let me take a good look at you now. Sans, please give me that red cap. Ready? Stand by. Ah! Just don't ask Dr. Anna, that's what happens in the alternate timeline. <laughs> They're all getting bottom surgery. <laughs> Watch out, that might not be legal in Florida. Sans, Pan, Pippis, Jeff, my son. There's no turning back now. Sans, activate the Phasers Border 3 by your own hand, thereby following your destiny. Will you do so? Yeah, sure. 
Only a few people know of your amazing courage, but the number of people you save through that bravery is immense. I feel very fortunate to be present at the beginning of this monumental undertaking. Here we go! Oh, I've seen this area before. Oh, we're robots now. Neat. You confront the ultimate Octobot and the wild and wooly shambler. <laughs> <laughs> Wild and wooly shit. <laughs> That's not real. Oh. oh okay, they drop multi bottle rockets. Yo, sick. Let's go! I'll take that. Later. Oh, you lived? Yeah, okay. Ultimate Octobot. Oh, these enemies are tough. Makes sense, it is like the last area. Wild and woolly shambler, bruh. Star storm. Big bazooka. Yeah, this is the earthbound sample. The music, I mean. Butterfly. Ah, the nuclear reactor robot. It's you again. No, we're not doing this. Fuck. Get me out of here. Bruh. No. I don't want to hear that fucking sound for the rest of my life, dude. Okay, uh, having trouble running away, it seems. Cool. <laughs> Alright, we'll morb and omega these guys. We'll also do a little bit of magnet. Can't run away from the past. <laughs> Blah. The game has such a serious tone, and then you have to fight these goofy enemies. Legendary bat. Ah, of course. <laughs> Ah, funny 255 weapon. Alright, goodbye, Magic and Bat. Ah, 
Oh, I can't throw it away. Wait, this guy is here? Oh, right, I forgot about that. That's okay. Oh, 83. Ooh, by 8. Oh, okay, somehow that's a preemptive. Yeah, sure, all right. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. What the? Sphere. Orb. Butterfly. No, come back, butterfly. Ah, ghost of Starman. Orb. Somehow that's a preemptive. All right, these guys are getting morbed. What the fuck is that? Final Starman? Bruh. He's no ma- Mmm, there's a chance that he might have a, a shield since I remember the Starman super had a shield. I guess we'll find out. Yep. He did have one. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, it's fine. He still attacked the right guy. Woo! 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 That was a little scary. <laughs> nice HP there. Seven health on Pan. Okay, let's heal. So many enemies, oh my god. This background, what? What do you mean, vulnerable to paralysis? That's bullshit! Uh-oh! Alive! What? How are you alive?
Die! Oh my god! Bro! Jesus. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. It's a good thing I could just run away on turn one. Oh, I'll fight these fuckers, dude. Oh, that's a cave. Oh. Do I get a heal? Do I not get a heal before this? Oh no. <laughs> Bruh. Well, I have this. Okay, that worked. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you, condiment. Okay, uh, we should be good now. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's just make sure. I think everybody's full health, so. Ah, it's me. <clears throat> Sans! Are you surprised? It's me, Pokey. I assist only the strong and able. That's Pokey. You guys look pathetic. The Apple of Enlightenment has already made a prediction, but I won't let what the Apple of Enlightenment predicted take place. You guys will be beaten by Gygus. Gygus will be stronger, a more powerful entity than any other. Why? Because of me. I was led by Gygus, and now I'm here. The Apple of Enlightenment couldn't predict this. Master Gygus. No, Gygus is no longer the wielder of evil. He has become the embodiment of evil itself, which cannot control, which he cannot control on his own. He is the evil power. Oh boy, let's go! Okay, so apparently, uh, Gygus reflects everything. Good to know. Okay, let's get you back up. <laughs> so 
727? <laughs> when you see it? I understand that you guys are already claiming to be heroes. Well, it's a gazillion year two years too early for you to oppose Gygus. You must be feeling pretty stupid to keep fighting without even knowing what Gygus looks like. If you were ever to see Gygus, you'd be so petrified with fear you'd never be able to run away. That's how scary it is. So, do you want me to turn off the devil's machine? Well, prepare to be amazed. So, isn't this terrifying? I'm terrified too. Gygus cannot think rationally anymore, and he isn't even aware of what he's doing now. His own mind was destroyed by his incredible power. What an almighty idiot. Yep, that's what he is. <laughs> and you, you will be just another meal to him. Uh, okay. Sans, you cannot grasp the true form of Gygus's attack. Ow, ow! Did you just paralyze me? What a dick! Uh... Well, I should heal, I guess. Does uh healing oh does healing cover uh frozen? Ow! Damn, it doesn't. Okay, cool. Let's heal up. Oh, it doesn't seem like they have a deflect, so. Oh, that's so lame. I want to heal, damn it. Let me cook, damn it! <laughs> Alright, there we go. Got the heal off. Cool. It is morbing time, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't have enough PP. Oh, you're back. <laughs> you must really be at the end of your rope. In this bizarre dimension, you four are the only force fighting for justice. And here you stand, waiting to be burned up with the rest of the garbage of this universe. Ah! That's so sad. I can't help but shed a tear. You know, my heart is beating incredibly fast. I must be experiencing absolute terror. Do you want to scream for help here in the dark? Ah! Why not call your mommy, Sans? Say, Mommy! Daddy! I'm so frightened! I think I'm gonna wet my pants! I know you have telepathy or something, so just try to call for help, you pathetically weak heroes of so-called justice. No one will help you now. Ah, 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 ah. Don't worry, your pitiful suffering will be over soon. Go, Bottle Rocket! You're the only thing I believe in anymore! Go, 
back. You cannot crash the true form of his attack. Stop freezing me! You asshole! Dickhead! I think my shield went away, so I'm gonna put up a new one. Uh, well, I'm out of, uh... It's not right, not right, not right. Dick, asshole. It hurts, Sans. Please give us strength if it is possible. Please. Somebody, help us. All of the Mr. Saturns felt a new, startling feeling they'd never experienced before, and they all started praying for the safety of Sans and his friends. Gygus' defensive became unstable. Oh gosh! Ah, there's the fetus sprite. I knew it would come eventually. It hurts. It hurts. Sans, I feel good. Please give us strength. Anyone who can hear us, please help us. Suddenly, one of the Runaway Five felt something stop him, and he prayed fervently for the safety of Sans and his friends. Bro, he looks just like me. <laughs> True. Sans. 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 Please give us strength. Speed this prayer to all the people of the earth. <laughs> Gigas dodged quickly. How? <laughs> Pan's father thought he somehow heard his daughter's voice and prayed sincerely for the safety of Pan and her friends. Oh, the damage is ramping up. Please, give us your strength. Anyone can hear our plea. Help us.
<laughs> Yo, Todd! <laughs> no, no, it's not Todd, it's Tony! 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 Todd. <laughs> Todd, he's gonna tell us about Fallout 76. Suddenly, Tony felt anxious about Jeff, comma, and he prayed strongly for the safety of Jeff and his friends. Huge damage. Sans. I'm happy. I'm so sad, Sans. Smash it. Sans. Uh, yeah. Go back. Please, grant us power. Anyone who can hear our plea, help us. Fight of 87, that's the wrong game. A young woman in Delam woke from a dream in which Pr Prince Pippus died, and she began to pray for the well-being of Pippus and his friends. Boom, big damage. I'm ha happy. Sans? Sans? You cannot grasp the true form of Gygus's attack. Please, grant us strength. We ask for this. Stream glitching or just the game? That'd be the game. <laughs> Suddenly, Frank recalled Sh Sans' shining young face and began to pray diligently for the safety of Sans and his friends. Frank! Oh, 721 damage. Big damage. Uh, yeah! Oh, he just... What? <laughs> Please grant us power. Speed this prayer to all the people of the earth. He just got the fucking flash insta-kill, dude. Uh-oh, it's time to cry, chat. <laughs> Bum, bum. Suddenly, Sans's mother felt terribly uneasy, and she began to pray for the safety of son her son and his friends. <laughs> Big damage. Oh yeah, yep, there goes the bit rate. Holy fuck. <laughs> Oh yeah, goodbye bitrate. It's been nice knowing you, buddy. I can't think of anyone else. Someone, anyone, please help us. Pan's call was absorbed by the darkness. I feel good. It hurts, Sans. It hurts, Sans. Yeah. 
It's not right. Not right. Uh. Oh, Jeff lived on one. Let's go, Jeff! Someone, can you hear me? Please, give us strength. Pan and her friend's call touched the heart of chat. Ah! <laughs> Prayed for the kids, having never even heard their voices before. Ch chat kept praying. Pray, chat! Chat kept praying. Twenty five thousand damage. Oh, yeah, goodbye, bit rat. <laughs> Woo! I poke it. Sans, now I, uh, well, uh, it seems like I'm going to run away. But perhaps I'll just sneak our way to another era to think about my next plan. It's a good bet that we'll see each other again. All right, I'll be seeing you. So now which one of us do you think is the cool guy? Seizure warning, by the way. Ah! We've returned! We have form again! <laughs> I'm no longer a blob, let's go. Were they trying to kill people? I mean, that wasn't bad as far as photosensitivity goes. It's just a lot of pixels. The war against Gygus is over. Yay, we're not dead! <laughs> Our travels together end here. I must return to Dalam and use this experience for the good of my country. Sans, Pan, Jeff? Let me demonstrate a strange power before I go. I realize this power is a child. PSI, farewell! I'll see you again someday.
Han, Sans, it was great to hang out with you guys. It really was. I'm glad that I had the chance to use some of the theories that I have been studying so hard. It's remarkable. If, just maybe, well, you two get hitched someday, maybe I'll be the one that fixes your broken electronic appliances. Ah! I'm gonna stay here for a while and see if I can learn more from Dr. Andonuts. I mean, from my dad. So it looks like this is goodbye for now, my friends. Sans, will you escort me home? Sure. I'll miss all of you, but I have to go back to being just a regular kid. Well, I gotta get going. There's a letter from Tony inside. Tony! Dear Jeff, everything's really going great here. I wish I could have gone with you on your adventure, even just part of the way. But instead, I'm sitting here waiting for you in Winters. I want to see you again as soon as possible. I can't wait to see your cheerful face. I bet your glasses are dirty. If you come back, I'll clean them for you. Like I said, I'm waiting for you. Here's truly, Tony. Don't show this letter to anyone. Dear Sands, how are you? Since you left home on your journey, things have changed around here. For example, I don't have as much laundry. Also, we don't seem to eat beepers as much as we used to. I heard that you defeated some universal evil character. What was it? Googie or something like that? <laughs> well, that sounds really great. I want to hear all the details, so hurry home, okay? Tracy, Toby, and I are waiting for you. Love, Mama. There's a letter from kids inside. Dear Pan, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine too. So are me. Me also. Me okay. Please come and play with us again at Polestar Preschool. Oh yeah, one more thing. Bring us some presents if you have any. Sincerely, your friends. It's a miracle! A miracle that has only happened because of your great courage! Believe me, I went through a lifetime's worth of stress while you were gone. I just wish I could have come with you as a robot. I should have used the phase distorter. What a story that would have been. Scientist and four kids save the world! <laughs> Incredible! Excellent! I'm not quite sure what for, but congratulations on a job well done. And if we ever have the chance to get together again, let's go on a picnic or something. Maybe we could play horseshoes, too. The chance of Gygus gaining victory with his monstrous plan is 99%. However, your courage has produced a 1% chance that Gygus fails. I must try to come to a deeper understanding of this trait called courage. It was in Winters that we last met. I just got here. Was well, scared. Now, okay, oh. I strong. Boing! Ah, this is one of those uh, games where you get to walk around at the end, right? And talk to everybody. Say something funny. I'll listen. Mm, I can't wait any longer. I'm going back to watching the news. It's funnier than you. You used to look much more helpless. Where's Frank? I gotta go see Frank! Oh yeah, he's at the burger shop right now. Uh, where's the burger shop? Right, bye, Lily. Wrong way. He's not here! Oh, he's... Hello, sir, how may I help you? Uh, aren't you Sans? After our battle, I've become serious and I've been working very hard. I've even been doing some training for, for, well, a little bit of pro wrestling. It's the ring for me, baby. So you made it back alive. You must have many stories to tell. Let's get together for a drink when you have a chance so that I can hear your stories. I'm talking about drinking mineral water. I'm still underage, you know. 
Ah. Uh, who else? I don't even know who to talk to. I guess let's go to Winters. Nice. I don't want to take Paula home. I'm taking her home with me. Tony! Jeff doesn't call me. Maybe he thinks I'm too annoying, but I don't think so. Santa, did you tell him not to call me? No, I know you wouldn't do that. If he's Jeff, please tell him to call Tony. Thanks. Jeff just called. He's with Dr. Andonuts. The two of them may be able to develop a new scientific theory. You've helped made a beautiful life for everyone. It's up, Summers. In case any of you are wondering where the inspiration for Undertale's walk around after the true pacifist ending uh, came from. We gotta go visit the goat. Where's Tessie? In the monkey community, Sans is famous. You're such a great man. Where's Tessie, damn it? No! <laughs> right, let's go to let's go say hi to Everdread. I'm not taking Paula home, though. I'm bringing her home with me. Didn't never try to die, did he? I thought he just walked away. He's gone. I'll miss that motherfucker. Who else do I even want to visit? Uh, I don't think there is anybody else I really want to say hi to. Summer's Museum. No, shh, shh, shh. Hold on a second, let me save a state. <laughs> Fine, we'll do the thing. Uh, let me save a, a save state here. Put it in slot two. All right, here we go. Uh, let's do it. That's the hotel. Where's the museum? It's to the left, right? It's to the right. So yeah, this is basically the end of the game. It's It's been really nice to finally sit down and play it after all these years of just never always picking it up and putting it back down. It feels really good to, like, finally finish this game. I can see why so many people love it. Honestly. 
Like, I can see why there's so many people who really love this game. I enjoyed it. It was an enjoyable time. All right. Sup, asshole? Okay, do I do what do I, do I have to die to this guy? Is that what it is? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, what's the fastest way to die? Use ATM card. Okay. Oh no. Ugh. <laughs> this might take a while. <laughs> that might take a while. Do you have anything more powerful? When you see it. Oh, thank God, it's finally doing some fucking damage. It has to use the lunge forward attack. This is so long, dude. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, now I leave the building. Yep! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> there we go! <laughs> Yes! Ah. <laughs> save another state. Yeah, 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 yeah. Way ahead of you. Uh, let's save slot 24. <laughs> okay, now where do I go? Teleport? No. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure I'm soft locked, by the way. What is the deal? Save state now. <laughs> uh, all right, there we go. 
Alright, let's go finish the game now. <laughs> you saw the save state for the tent glitch? Yes, I do. We can do that after the credits. They already removed the paint from Happy Happy Village. We already saw that. I wonder what Pokey's parents are doing right now. I wonder how much copium they're on. It's up, jackasses. Salutations, you're the boy living next door. I heard that your family's in debt. Miss Minch told me about it. Well, live and learn. You just have to keep plugging away. As usual, you're wearing your grubbies. So, what do you want? My son isn't home now. He's walking around somewhere. My husband is also gone. Oh, yes. This is Mr. Pretty Man. He always has great advice. He's a real gentleman, he is. You'll be happy that you met him. Hey. I haven't seen you in a while. You look cool. I'm nowhere near as cool as you. I'm just average cool. I killed your brother. Oh, well, actually, no. I didn't kill him. He ran away. He's, he's still alive. And he's also immortal, but don't tell anybody about that yet. We'll find that out in the next game. I really should go home. I shouldn't be out just wandering here and there. Don't you think so? No, come with me. Well, okay. I guess I would like to be with you a little longer. Yay. Oh, they're cute. Wow, you've become such a strong young man. I'd like to hear all your stories, but I don't want to annoy you as soon as you walk through the door. I want to have a chance to get you to know your little girlfriend. It's good to meet you, Pan. After all your chats with people you met on your adventure finally over, please come back here. The photo man brought an album by. I'd like to look at you, with, look at it with you. Other dogs haven't figured it out yet, but I knew you guys would save the world. I love it when games do this. Buzz Buzz, no! <laughs> he was taken from us too soon! The Sharks. B.H. Perkle. Captain Strong. Ah, yes, the police force that fucking ambushed me. Pan's mom and dad. Pan! Orange kid. Apple kid. Everdread! He was taken from us too soon. Ah, the runaway five. Happy Happiests. Car Painter. Bubble Monkey. Tony Maxwell Tessie. <laughs> Woo! In the Tessie Watching Club. Brick Road. I'll never forgive you for Dungeon Man, but that's okay. Dr. Andonuts. Boy, I sure hope he's having a good time and not grieving in an alternate timeline or anything like that. And Jeff! That's cool that the credits theme is a medley of all the different parts of your adventure. I wonder if a certain indie game will do that. Master Belch. George Montague. Gerardo Montague. Alarama. Gel de Guard Monotoli and Venus, who signed a banana peel. Peepis! Peepis. Peepis is master. Star master. Dungeon man. Noble warrior. 
Kenda tribesmen. Who are the graves? Flying men! No! They're dead. I miss you, flying man. All oh, the NPCs! Toby! And Dad. And of course, Sans. And Mom and Tracy. It's him! Say Fuzzy Pickles chat! He knows your IP address. toy. What a guy. And there's all the pictures we took in our adventure. This instrumentation sounds familiar. It's the one that was used for Fallen Down, yes. Ah, Satori Iwata. <sighs> what a legend. Hirokazu Tanaka's work on this game was also crazy. Sounds very unique in this game for sure. I'm sure happy that Ness, Paula, Jeff, and Pooh will live happily ever after in peace with zero chance of an apocalypse occurring. And to be fair, that apocalypse occurs after, well, after their lifetime, so. They even got the teddy bear in there. Yo, shout outs to Marcus Lindblum and Dan Olsen for this great fucking, and also Keiko Tamura and Yuka Nakata as well for this crazy good translation. It's crazy that this game even got localized, to be honest. Of course, Jeremy Ogden Vizzini Ellis, true. Yo, the black sesame, let's go. My favorite Deltarune character. I really enjoyed playing through it. It's held up surprisingly well, honestly. For a 90s RPG, this game held up really, really well. I, I enjoyed it. This definitely, it's a little rough around the edges in some spots, but 
I can see why it became so beloved as a cult classic. There's a couple of things that are a little weird. Again, it is a 90s RPG. It definitely didn't perfectly age, but it's very good. Yo, Apache123 with the six months. Appreciate it. Also, I'm Monkey Official earlier with the gift sub. I appreciate that as well. Thank you. The producers wish to thank all of these people. Planning to do Mother 3? Maybe someday. by Nintendo in association with Ape Incorporated and HAL Laboratory. I miss you. I miss you too. And player chat. That's you guys. Mom, I'm famous! Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for <laughs> after the post credits joke scene. No way, dude. I didn't know that could happen. Clip it and ship it. <laughs> Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. Hey, where's Paula at? It's a picky. A letter arrived from my brother, Pokey. It's addressed to Sans. There's no stamp and it's not time for the mailman to come. Anyway, I brought it over. It says, come and get me, loser. Spankity, spankity, spankity. I wonder where he is. Uh, gotta wait until 2006 to find out. All right, is that, uh... I'm assuming that's it. You power off at this point. Just like any game from the 90s, you, uh, you uh, power off when you get to the ending screen. That was a great game. I enjoyed it.